Hey guys. Right. We've got a spare pot that we did have some wallflowers in. They've gone now. They, they've passed the best. I took them out. I replenished the um, compost, but I did a bit of fresh compost to it. We're now in June, um, so I want to plant something we can eat because it's warm enough to plant most things straight outside now from seed. But obviously, you don't want to plant something that's got a, like a really long growing time. Um, I'm, I'm after something which is quite quick cropping. So I'm going to just put some lettuce in but I'm gonna try it two different ways let's go a bit experimental so it'll either work or it'll just be a mess and a disaster and then Ruby with her blue tongue will just say that she told me so and I should have listened to Ruby because she does know best so if I can get into these lettuce seeds it's just um, it's just a, a mix a mixed lettuce nothing special right first way first thing I'm gonna do can you just hold the seeds please Ray, mm -hmm. is I'm gonna water the soil first because um, lettuce seeds are quite small and if I was to water it once I put the seeds in it might dislodge them and make them go everywhere so you wet the soil first then I'm gonna make just a little line It doesn't have to be deep at all, just like a fingertip deep. First way we're going to use is, can you just get some of those seeds out please? I've got some dry, sharp sand. We're going to mix the seeds into the sand. I think that's enough. Just put them seeds in there. Alright, just going to mix them in. And then when I scatter the sand into the little shallow trench that I've made in theory it should be fairly evenly spread so we'll see how it goes so I'm just going to fill that with my sand that's got the lettuce seeds in it have I got enough just about right and I'll just firm that down so that's got the seeds mixed in, we'll see how it goes. What I might do is in about a month's time, I'll do an update video, show you how, how that method works. The other method I want to try, so again, we're just gonna make a little line. Doesn't have to be deep. And then I've got a bag of flour and water that I've mixed into like a paste. So Ruby, you took the rest of the seeds into yeah. there, please just in an ordinary food bag. All of them, all there's of quite them. a lot left. Is there? Yeah. I didn't think there was that many. Yeah, just, just put all of them Careful. in. Okay, right, that'll do. Right, just put the pack down. Right. Let's try and mix them in. Do you know like a piping bag that chefs use when they put icing onto things? That's what we're going to do with this. So if I just nick a little bit of the corner out, please don't spray everywhere. Right. Okay. And I'm just going to pour that into the shallow trench. And again, that's got the seeds mixed in. So the theory is they should be quite evenly spread. And we should get a fairly even growth rate of the lettuce. So we'll see how it goes. I'll just cover that over a little bit. And then I've got space left. Is there any seeds left at all, Ruby? It sounds like those. It does actually, doesn't it? Right, I've got space left for one more line. So I'll just do one more line the traditional way. Just I'll just plonk them in and gently cover them over. And we'll see how these do. How's it looking, Rick? Can I have it? Oh my gosh, there's both left. Right. So I'll just scatter these in. So there's three different ways in the same pot. Uh, roughly the same amount of seeds. It's not very scientific, I know, but we'll, we'll see. And then 
it's fairly fast growing his lettuce so what I'll do is I'll, I'll come back in a month's time and I'll film this exact same pot and you can see and make your own mind up if any of the different methods are better than the others or if they've all come up the, the same kind of kind of way fingers crossed thanks very much please subscribe for more free gardening related videos